Hey everyone, this is Mongoose here. I was uh, thinking about something earlier today, and it's uh, basically how fat we're becoming as Americans. It seems like everybody idolizes food way too much. And the thing that got me thinking about this is I'm not religious. I mean, I'm, I'm atheist, but my family is, you know, they're all very religious, and they want me to go out to this Easter dinner th or Easter brunch thing next weekend. You know, on the 8th, I'm thinking to myself, why the fuck do we have to go out to eat at a restaurant on Easter? I mean, what happened to, you know, even though I'm not religious, I still think that a family should celebrate the morals of it. You know, like, Easter should be about staying at home, seeing your family, and, you know, having a home-cooked meal, not going out and you know, getting some meal somebody else made in a, a non-intimate environment where you got, you know, a buffet with like a hundred other fucking people there. And it just occurred to me that everything in this country is now idolized, like it's all based around food. I mean, Easter dinner, food. If you meet a girl, what's the first thing you usually think? Oh, I'm gonna take her out to dinner. There's more food. How about Thanksgiving? Hey, let's eat some food. Hey, there's uh, Christmas. Hey, let's go eat some fucking food. You know, and we wonder why we're fat. We wonder why we're the fattest country in the world. I don't know. Maybe it's just me and maybe I just, I don't know. I just think it's funny because I only weigh 140 pounds and I'm 29 years old. I'm 5'8", 140 pounds. That's, you know, that's a pretty, I mean, I'm not like super skinny anorexic, but I'm, I'm at my normal body weight. You know, I look up my BMI on the internet and it says I'm basically in, in like perfect shape. And it's funny because everybody I work with and people that I'm friends with, they're all kind of heavy. And they actually pick on me for being thin. And I, I and not that it like hurts my feelings. I think it's funny that it's become, that's become the socially acceptable thing to do is pick on skinny people. And it's like three out of four people in this country are fucking fat asses. And it's no wonder why. You know, we're sitting here picking on fucking thin people because they take care of themselves. And uh, I just thought, you know, and it makes me think back to that movie, Super Size Me, where that one, uh, that one uh, magazine editor is talking about, is it, is it a dinner? And there's a lady smoking. And, you know, it's completely acceptable in society nowadays to tell smokers, you know, what the fuck are you doing? Don't you realize how bad that is for you? When is it going to be socially acceptable to go to somebody that's fat and be like, wow, you are a fucking fat piece of shit. Stop eating now before you die. You know, it's funny is, uh, next time you're out, you know, at the mall or a supermarket or, you know, Walmart, Kmart, Wegmans, whatever, play a little game with yourself. Actually count the people around you and just, like, count how many people you actually see. You know, if you're in a restaurant, let's say there's 40 people in that restaurant, just kind of count to yourself. Say, oh, yep, there's 40 people. Now count how many people are overweight. And once you, once you do this a couple times at random places, you'll start to notice how fat the world is. I mean, not the world, but our country. And it's really no wonder why we're all fat. I mean, look at look at some of the things that we do in our country that they don't do in other countries. I mean, you know, I pride myself on the fact that I don't I don't live to eat. I eat to live. I eat what I need to to survive and keep healthy. And you go to places, you go to some of these restaurants, and they like they tell you if you can finish like a 32 ounce steak, it's free and all this shit. And it's like holy crap. We're actually encouraging people to go out and gorge themselves and then rewarding them for it. You know? And it just, I think it's hilarious. I think it's just, it's a really, it's a, a pathetic, or uh, <laughs> God, I'm stupid. It's a pathetic state of events is what I was trying to say there. It's just really sad that so many people are fat and it's, I mean, it's like the, the number one most preventable cause of death in this country is obesity. And it's so easy to prevent. You just, you know,
I exercise, proportion your meals, and I don't, you know, some people use that excuse, excuse, oh, I have no time. I don't have time. I have kids, I have, I have a family to raise, I have a house to clean. And they'll say that they have a job and they work a lot of hours and that's why they can't exercise. Well, it's like, you know what, you find time to eat your fucking face off and fill your stomach full of food. You know, how long does it take to eat dinner? Uh, you know, a, a prepared dinner. How long does it take to eat a prepared dinner? What? 10, 20 minutes? You know what? Drink a sun fast shake. That takes two minutes. Spend the other part of that time. Spend the other part of that time exercising. How about that? 